Did you never wonder what happened to the witches of the other old lands? Not witch hunters, but her. Salem, episode 205, The Wine Dark Sea. Countess Marburg, she's arriving at Salem, finally, from The Wine Dark Sea. Mentos Gum presents the Salem Writer's Wrap. We mention the sea here because we often forget that Salem is not just on the woods, but it's on the water. It's a crucial port. So at the opening of episode 205, we find the Countess and her son, the Baron, Sebastian. He's getting his first taste and glimpse of Mary, and we can see she's really affecting him in a new way. He seems to really be getting a bit of a fix on Mary, which is going to drive a lot of where we go for many episodes to come. Be quiet! What happened to you, John? Cotton, you can see that Alden has changed. This is not the same Alden he knew. It's not even clear if he's really seeing reality correctly or not. Almost worse yet, he seems to see the signs upon him of, of, of the workings of magic. And now I get this interesting scene between Mary and Anne. You said you would protect me. Mary reminds her of something that's really important this season, which is the actual condition of women in this time. We women are utterly defenseless without a man. A woman's beauty is her only power. As always with Mary, he had another little agenda going. She's like, well, Cotton, he is still the product of far and away the two most powerful and wealthiest Puritan families in the land, the Cottons and the Mathers. And if she were to become Mrs. Cotton Mather, she would be untouchable. But Mary says, make Cotton yours. Tell me everything you know about Countess Marburg. So there's Anne, as she will be for much of this season in some ways, trapped between two very powerful women who want to make her theirs one way or another. These are omens. We must have a new leader. George, this is your last chance to end your suffering. George is now finally ready to cooperate. And in a great moment, he literally rises to the occasion. Just when George is thundering there and calling upon God to demonstrate, you know, his agreement, there's a huge crack of thunder and lightning and the rain starts. And of course, George and all the assembled Puritans take this as a confirmation. God hears us. And the rest of us know this is more a sign that the water witch Marburg is near. And in one of the great confrontations we think of the whole series, Mary, via the witch stick, finds her way into the Marburg inner sanctum there. But the real Mary is paralyzed and unconscious while her specter is moving out in the world. Marburg's had millennia to practice this. She's able to be in more than one place at the same time, and neither of the hers are paralyzed. What listen surprise. Of course, in the really shocking and chilling end to the episode, we see something that will change the whole course of the series. She's left George, a bubbling human fountain of water, dead. And suddenly, in a world where, as we've made very clear, a woman cannot have power without her living husband and her husband's name, Mary Sibley is a widow. The Salem Writer's Wrap was brought to you by Mentos Pure Fresh Gum. Long last the fresh.